Jens Peterson is loving this weather. The president of the Regina Ski Club says it's much better for skiing than last winter. My very first day of skiing last winter was February 14th, Valentine's Day, and I got in th exactly three weeks of skiing. A strong El Nino weather pattern made last winter much warmer and drier than normal on the prairies. But El Nino is over, and the snow and cold are back, and that could be a trend this winter. Waters in the equatorial Pacific near South America have cooled below average, and that means La Nina, El Nino's opposing weather pattern, is forming. It typically brings colder and snowier winters to the prairies, but there's a catch this time around. This winter, we are actually expecting a, a pretty weak La Nina. We're not going to see the uh, necessarily the typical uh, correlations between the colder and snowier winter um, and, and the La Nina signal. But that doesn't mean winter will be a breeze with this last month as evidence of that. But Environment Canada's winter outlook does show a better chance that December, January and February will be warmer than normal on the prairies, unusual for La Nina events. Experts say the warming of ocean waters due to climate change can dull the cooling effects of La Nina. This has sort of raised the bar for how much cooling of the ocean surface is needed uh, to be called a La Nina. So um, what this is really telling us is that as the world warms, uh, the conventional definitions of La Nina and El Nino are um, starting to become obsolete. This La Nina is only expected to last until spring, with a return to a neutral pattern afterward. But it should be just long enough for Jens Peterson and his fellow skiers to enjoy their season, with all ski trails around Regina open and groomed. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Regina.